The following bout is a non-tournament super fight to be fought in five three-minute rounds. I am the AK-47 Allison K, fighting out of Stars and Strikes in Detroit, Michigan. What I want to know is, why am I not in the tournament? You, you don't think I'm good enough to get a trophy? I can't have a trophy? Or, or did you just think that it was just going to be too much of a telegraph and you already knew who was going to win the whole thing? Is that what happened? It doesn't matter who you give me, it doesn't matter who my opponent is. They gonna learn today that AK don't play. My name is Edith Surreal and I am an abstract expressionist. I'm already the tournament mistress, so I don't need to test my mettle in this tournament. I've already shown what I can do, so I want the best. I want to show what I can do against the best wrestlers in the world, and that's why I accepted this match against Allison K. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the quarterfinals are in the books. The semifinals are down. Only the finals remain, but we still have our co-main event, this big time super fight here in Williamstown, New Jersey, live on IWTV. Once again, I am Blake Chadwick, now joined by IWTV senior official Chris Levin. Chris, you've been in the cage all evening long. What's it like on the battleground? I need to say, these bouts have been absolutely hellacious. Now, we have seen a proliferation of events such as these in professional wrestling, but never before have we seen the rope stripped off, the cage up, and big dust out at ringside. Certainly a way different take on your traditional bout here. No ropes, no turnbuckles, just cage surrounding the ring as AK-47 Allison K enters the fray and she looks to take on her opponent here, Edith Surreal. Chris, this is the definition of a super fight. Absolutely, Edith Surreal, the artist formerly known as Still Life with Apricots and Pears, and here she comes now. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Allison Kay comes to us from Detroit, Michigan. Edith Surreal out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Both women representing the United States. Similar heights here as Allison Kay at 5'10", Edith Surreal at 5'11". Allison Kay has been around about 13 years. Edith Surreal, only three years of experience. So a lot to prove here on the big stage for the red corner, going against the former women's world champion. Allison Kay, well-versed in mixed martial arts and kickboxing, and primarily no-gi Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Edith Surreal does have experience in abstract expressionism, and she's the 2021 Cassandro Cup winner, the 2019 Young Lions Cup winner. Something's gotta give here. Now let's head back to Sam Letourneau set the table for this co-main event, Super Five. First up, fighting out of the blue corner with an, a mixed martial arts and kickboxing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background. That's right. Standing at five foot 10, hailing from Detroit, Michigan, she is AK-47, Allison K. She is an abstract expressionist. Oh, yeah. Standing at five foot eleven from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the exhibition of intrigue, Edith Surreal. As the introductions have been made, and Chris once again, three rather five three-minute rounds here. So like the tournament format, we saw three three-minute rounds, two potentially added rounds here. How does that potentially affect the cardiovascular conditioning of both competitors? You know, I'm glad you bring that up because it is so appropriate that Edith Surreal was called the exhibition of intrigue because there's so much that we don't know. Now, we know that Edith has a Lucha Libre background and appropriately again, she's the only competitor tonight wearing a mask. There's a lot of mystery here. Now, Lucha Libre, one of the deadliest art forms in the world as martial arts, no doubt in my mind. And both of these competitors coming off of big wins. Allison K off of Bloodsport, Edith Surreal off of Frog Sport, both off of Masha Slamovich. Both of these women very well versed in their backgrounds. They have cage experience. So you talked about Masha Slamovich. She, of course, marching on into the finals to take on Janai Kai coming up in our main event here at Shoot to Thrill. And again, referee Gina Monti assigned to this contest. And of course, you want to get your wind straight out of the gate here again. Three minutes, but you could potentially go five rounds. So you don't want to lay it all out there in the first. 
as Allison Kay here trying for wrist control, looks like, in the opener. Yeah, and you know what? I know fans love to see these explosive, dynamic attacks right out the gate, but it's much smarter to find an opponent, grab them, and lean on them because they need to breathe. And especially when you're looking at two competitors as evenly matched as these two ladies. Of course, Edith Surreal does have a slight height advantage, but Allison Kay does have that size and power advantage. We'll see how that plays out here. And remember, no pinfalls in this one. Knockout or Strictly submission. knockouts or submissions, or of course, if we go the distance, we go to our three judges at ringside and their decision. As Allison Kay trying to work the ground game right here. Looks like she might be going for that rear naked choke right out of the gate. And you know what? Either surreal staying alive. It seems like from the very opening moments, we've seen a back and forth. For every hold that Allison Kay has, Edith has an answer to it. And you have to be careful here. You don't want to let up for just a second because if the opponent is able to cinch in that hold, it's going to essentially be curtains for whoever is on the receiving end of the offense. As Edith Surreal now grabs the side headlock, she might try to work her back way to a vertical base here. Either way, wants to keep Allison Kay potentially grounded. Nice escape by the blue corner and Kay. And she's got the go behind here. It looks like she's grabbing behind, yeah. the neck. Edith could be in a bad way here. Edith Surreal, not exactly the position she wants. On the outside of the ring for Allison Kay, of course, Jenny Rose for Edith Surreal, the runway supporting her at ringside. And you know, we're not seeing a submission here, but just this, holding the throat, the neck, cutting off that uh, blood flow to the brain. And again, in a traditional wrestling match, you'd be checking in possibly that five second count. Here you need to check in if the opponent wants to continue. It's, uh, it's more ruthless in professional wrestling even within these. Uh, and especially with no ropes in that cage-like environment in there, it's going to be a tough bout for whoever is either on the winning end or losing end of things. And you have to imagine, Chris, the winner of this super fight has to be looking at either Masha Slamovich or Janai Kai as it relates to possibly coming up as we're looking at Combat Fights Unlimited, possibly fight number two in a major super fight. Oh, that could definitely be something in the near future. You right hear the clap as the 10 second signal for the end of the first round is on its way as Allison Kay trying to straighten the arm of Edith Surreal, and Saved that will do bell. it for round number one. And Chris, after three minutes of action, what did you see? You know, I think we saw Allison Kay in control for the majority of that, but for nearly everything that she gave to Edith Surreal, Edith Surreal answered it. And Edith Surreal, a nice showing in that first round. Allison Kay showing off her power. I'd slightly give the advantage to Kay, but again, with five rounds in front of us, Chris, we're just getting started. Absolutely, it's a marathon. Not a sprint. Getting set for round number two, waiting on our official Gina Monti signal. As Chris, we've seen some incredible stoppages thus far throughout this incredible event by Combat Fights Unlimited. Yes, we have. They've been absolutely vicious. And it looks like up, everyone is leaving the ring, and we're getting started at round number two. And Chris, in there is the official, someone who's been in a part of these super fights thus far. At what point do you really know the match is over? Because you want to give the competitors a chance to make a comeback, but sometimes these holds are locked in just a bit too tight. You know, it comes down to the personal discretion of each official. At the end of the day, our one priority is the safety of the combatants. As Edith Surreal with the go behind here, and Allison K tries to take it right to the ground, picking the ankle of Allison K. Strong K opening. trying to reverse course here, possibly to a knee bar. We have a stalemate situation possibly right here, but nope, Allison looks like she's taking control. And K trying to work her way from the feet to the head of Edith Surreal. And you see the lanky physique of Edith Surreal really playing a role here, giving her an advantage. Yep, and she is maintaining that defensive position. Well, wow, Allison K can't get her off. And K and Surreal here jockeying for position. Looks like a knee bar applied by Edith Surreal, turned over by Allison K as both ladies jockeying for position right here in the opening minute of round number two in this co-main event super fight on Shoot to Thrill. I think it's really important to note that Edith Surreal is a master of art imitating reality. We saw just at Frog Sport, Edith Surreal was able to defeat Masha Slamovich in a Soviet death match. And it looked like right there, Allison Kay was trying to tie her up into a pretzel and a nice reversal by Edith Surreal. It looks like she has the ankle of Allison Kay. And Kay trying to get innovative right here with her offensive attack. But she, the last thing she wants to do, Chris, is turn her back to her opponent. Absolutely. And, like, the reason I point that out is because Edith walked into a situation where she was out of her domain and she still walked away the winner. And here, Allison Kay is clearly in control. She is confident. She is an experienced mixed martial artist, but let's see if Edith... Gains some side control here, does Allison Kay. Nice reversal 
by Edith Surreal and going right back to the ankle. Look, Look at those at quick, smooth movements by oh. the red corner in Surreal. She is a submission specialist. Make no mistake about it, Lucha Libre is about so much more than the acrobatics. And we have seen that on display all throughout Camp Leapfrog and the various events Edith Surreal has been a part of, but Chris, this is a little bit of a different environment. Oh, this is an absolutely different environment. I do not know if this exact situation has ever been done before in professional wrestling. A cage up, ropes down, mixed martial arts rules, it's brutal. A completely different take on what we're used to seeing and the great promoters right here at Combat, Combat Fights Unlimited presenting Shoot to Throw. What a great inaugural event we have on hand here live on IWTV from Williamstown, New Jersey in the Garden State as it looks like a couple of Motown competitors, a little Motown Philly, Motown Detroit, hooking it up right here. Absolutely, and Allison Kay looks like she has got that rear And naked Kay now choke. has the go behind, trying to cinch in that rear naked choke. If she can lock her fingers in, that could be all for Eden Surreal. Nice escape into the armbar submission. Trying to lock in possibly a Fujiwara armbar here. And there's the clackers where he only got a few moments left to go. As in Kay round. now has to fight against the clock to try to stay alive here. Try to get on her back and take some of the pressure off of that rotator cuff and AC joint, Chris, that signifies the end of round number two. And it looked like Allison K took round one. Round number two, I think, went with Edith Surreal. You know what, I absolutely agree with you. Coming out of the gate, Allison K used experience to her advantage, and it looks like Edith picked something up in that first round, and she took it to round two. And Chris, Allison K, a former women's world champion, coming into an environment like this, how do you think that potentially messes with her psyche, knowing she's not in the same confines she's used to where she's typically queen of the ring? You know what, I have to say that I think Allison Kay, in her mind, still is that queen of the ring. And after that first round, she was feeling it. After that second round, you would have to imagine she is on her game and she is bewaring. As the corners giving their last minute instructions here. And again, Chris, like we've seen all evening long, none of the bouts have really gone the distance. But again, going into round number three, you're really only at the halfway point in a big super fight like this. Instead of there are three rounds, we have five. Like we were saying before, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So as we're getting set for round number three right here on IWTV, our co-main event of the evening. There Jeffrey it is. Jeffrey Ginamondi signals for the bell, and here we go. Three more minutes of action in our super fight co-main event. Seeing a bit of a more cautious approach by both fighters. I think each has earned a measure of respect from the other after the... And I think that's the first time we've seen some leg kicks from Allison K trying to diversify the offense there, keeping Edith Surreal at bay and creating some separation between her and her opponent. Oh, and there's, there's a big uh, right hand. She was going for that possible knockout blow, a couple of jabs, unsuccessful. And you see the lankiness of Surreal there really playing a role in keeping K at bay. She tries to shoot in, and Surreal just collapsing on top of her. Nice job to prevent Allison K from picking the leg. She's put in that hook. It's, she has her in that quarter, Nelson, taking her over. But K trying to reverse right here. But Edith and Surreal's going to roll her. with her. Modified gator roll right there by Edith Surreal. Grabs the front chancery, and she's in control. But a nice job by K to escape. Can she turn her over here, Chris? These two athletes are far more evenly matched than I would have ever predicted walking into this bout. And remember, no pinfalls here. Traditionally, the referee would drop down for the three count, but the side control applied oh, this by could K, be it. fully this mounted, could be it. and a series of strikes. Ada Surreal has to be careful. She's covering up here. She needs if to keep those feels She can't defend herself. This is going to be all. We got back to that ankle pick, and it looks like we're in a stalemate again. Trying to go for that heel hook and surprise Allison K. K sits up and takes some of the pressure off of that ankle. And now a series of strikes right to the midsection of Edith Surreal trying to do some damage on her opponent. And Blake, as a veteran of the mixed martial arts broadcasting world, you know better than anyone that all it takes is one moment. That could have been it, and this could be it right now. It only takes one. There's a series of strikes by Kay. It might be more than one, maybe a dozen strikes as Edith Surreal is able to get out of the middle of the ring right there. Acting on pure self-preservation, pushing her off. And puts Here herself into the corner, and a nice job by Edith Surreal to reset and bring herself back into this third round. And oh, kicking away at Big Dust, your buddy. I don't like that. But you know what, I have to say, Edith Surreal, she survived that rain of blows, but to what cost, what damage? has been inflicted upon Edith going into the rest of round three. As Edith Surreal grabbing the front chancery here, trying to ground Allison Kay 
And you'd have to imagine the cardiovascular conditioning probably favors Edith Surreal just based on the body type. So being able to suck some of the life out of Allison Kay as we're essentially at the halfway point of this co-main event super fight that probably favors Edith Surreal moving into rounds four and five. And you know what, Allison Kay's being smart here. She's leaning on Edith, making Edith do all the work. Allison's catching her breath. Edith is losing it. Both women trying to wear down their opponent as Chris. I have not really seen any knockout attempts in this one as both women keeping it relatively conservative in the ground game. They're being cautious, absolutely. And it looks like we're coming close of round three. As Allison Kay trying to... Oh, she's got... Oh! Nearly applies the Kimura. I thought she was going for that cross arm breaker. Allison Kay wanted an extra 10 or 15 seconds in that third round. That might have been enough to potentially finish her off. But Chris, three rounds down, two rounds to go. That one evenly contested once again. I think the momentum might have swung back to the blue corner in Allison Kay. Absolutely. Nearly cutting that double wrist lock. That's not just a game changer. That's a life changer. That is a snap your arm movement. Either this is lucky that she was able to be saved by the bell from that. Who knows what would have happened? So, Chris, taking a look here as we're heading to round number four. If you're Allison K, do you go right back to the arm or do you try to mix up the offense a little bit since you have to believe Edith Surreal is not at 100%, at least as it re relates to that arm bar? I would have to imagine Allison is going to go right back to that arm. She may have found a structural weakness in the painting that is Edith Surreal. Through three rounds, I'd say K probably has the slight favor, but again, this is five rounds of action. Still a lot of action to transpire here. A lot can change over the next six minutes inside that cage if we even get that long. Can happen in a blink of an eye. And here we go, round number four. At round number four, the action will intensify here inside the cage. Gina Calzan Monty on the call. And I gotta tell you, one of the best officials that we have here, one of the best officials coming, to get, coming up today in the United States. We're Gina right on top of the action here, making sure both women are fit to compete. As Allison Kay, look like she was going for that arm, but almost to prediction, Chris going right back for that arm bar has that front chance reapplied. We know she does have the power advantage, oh. but Edith Surreal utilizing that lanky figure. She's going for that leg. It looks like possibly to escape. escaping, and Kay throwing some strikes in there. Surreal, oh. look at those heavy dropping bombs. bombs! She's dropping bombs on her, Chris. That could do it. This could be it. Oh. Wow. And a Rats nice her. job with the clinch by Allison Kay to yep. control her opponent. But it is surreal coming out of the shoot with fireworks here in round number four. And you have to ask yourself, could Edith have finished the job had it not been for the wear and tear she's been put through by Allison throughout the first three rounds of this contest? A nice job by our official to not end things too early. Gina staying on top of things here as Allison Kay has her opponent mounted. Edith Surreal trying to cover up now. Not a great escape position no, for the red corner. Edith is not in a good position right now. As Kay trying to roll her over, but Surreal stays on top. And Edith Surreal a series of strikes. Kay trying to create some separation here. I don't know how many of those connected, but Edith Surreal in control. There's the knee bar, Chris. Oh, absolutely, those strikes were all she needed to get that, that separation, just like you were saying, and going right back to the angle. So as these rounds have gone back and forth, it looked like Kay had round one. Surreal came back in round two. Kay with the slight edge in round three. Edith Surreal coming out of House of Fire here in our second to, fi second to last round in this co-main event. Absolutely. Edith right here could pick off the win, but Allison, she is trying her best to pick. Uh, nope. Allison Kay has her twisted up, turns her around into a half crab. Nicely done by Edith Surreal. Oh. And now it looks like she's going to step over, over into the STF. Completely legal here, Chris. Step over to hold face lock. Vicious. I don't know if this is really a page out of the Lucha Libre playbook. Oh, this is a page right out of traditional American professional wrestling. Luthez, George Tragos, the masters of holds like this. Eric Watts. <laughs> Eric Watts. As Edith Surreal trying to make a comeback here as Allison Kay once again gains side control. And Kay really trying to utilize that power. Every time Surreal is able to gain an upper hand, Kay is oh. able to bring it back to the middle ground. And it looks like she is controlling that right arm, allowing as those left shots nearly unprotected to the face of Allison Edith. Kay needs to be careful here. She could really find her arm twisted into a Kimura very quickly. Oh, oh, we got the... As we're ending... Round number four in just a couple of she's seconds going here. going double wrist lock. That could be it. She's trying to get that Kimura latch in. Oh, oh she's got she's it. Got she's it. got it. Oh. oh. And it's Chris, out. from our vantage point, it looked like Edith Surreal was about to tap out. But for the second time in this super fight, Allison Kay 
Looks like she's about to win, and the bell saves Edith Surreal. We talk about Luthez and George Tragos just a moment ago. That double wrist lock, they have torn shoulders out of sockets over the years. And Allison Kay, she's not just a mixed martial artist, she is a professional wrestler, and she's going to that reservoir and pulling out something seemingly very effective going to this final round. And Chris, once again, looking at our rounds, it looked like Kay took round one, Surreal came back in round two, Kay had the slight advantage in round three. What did you see in round number four? Because Surreal came out hot, but Kay finished the round very strong. She did finish the round very strong. You know what, I am seeing two of the best competitors giving it their all. They're preparing to go out to war one last time tonight. And Chris, with three minutes left on the clock here, if you're the corner for Allison Kay, if you're the corner for Edith Surreal, what are you telling your competitor here, knowing this is their last chance to finish the fight before we head to the judges' scores? Pace yourself. That three minutes will last an eternity, but at the same time, we need a sense of urgency. So Gina Monti going to get things started here for round number five. Three minutes of action separates the finish. And who will be here declared the winner? You have to imagine both this, women here maybe a bit overzealous wanting to prove themselves in the final three minutes to the judges. This is their last chance, both of them. This is an absolute nail biter. As Kay tries to go for a big knockout strike right there. I think you're gonna need a little bit more than that to take out Edith Surreal. Oh, and the leg kick. Oh, there could be some damage done there, Chris. Just like you mentioned before. Allison Kay's left leg. Oh, she grabs her. Thought there was some damage done. Allison Kay hauling off on Edith Surreal. Now those long limbs were doing Edith very well to start this, but now Allison Kay's grabber. Oh, and, and these two ladies on the back in a bit of a dog fight here, yep. trying to gain control in our final two plus minutes. Surreal rolls over, trying to cinch in that knee bar. And Kay trying to fight back here. Gina Monti right on top of the action. Edith has been calculated in a way I have never seen her before. Edith Surreal needs to be careful here. Oh, we got She's going to get got caught her. in a rear naked choke. This could be it. And look at Surreal utilizing that body contortion, just twisting around. She does not want to give up that back. Absolutely not. And she's still in a submission position, but takes some of the pressure off of that throat and allowing her to breathe a little bit better. Allison Kay's getting those picks and she is not letting oh, she's surreal. Out. Throw Once it. again, trying to drop some bombs on she's Allison K. Nice job by Kay to stay guarded. They create some separation there, but Kay goes right back to the attack. Yep, where the head goes, the body will follow. And Kay with a series of strikes for the knee. Oh, oh. into the cage, oh! Eat is surreal. Oh no, oh, she gets God. stuck in between the cage, but Chris, this is completely oh, legal here. Is Edith okay? Eat is surreal. Edith could have broken her leg. Oh, God. And this one will continue here. Allison K grabs side control, but Surreal's not giving up. You know, official Gina Calzan, Monty, in full control of this match, but so that was a scary one. And here we are, round special, number five. Right? Oh, my God. The last opportunity for both competitors to prove themselves to the judges. As K, you have to think, after that incredible maneuver, puts herself in position here and really just wants to ride Edith to the ground. The human body is not meant. And I let this time expire. Yeah, the, the human body is not meant to meet steel. Oh, I, I thought that was a tap out by Surreal, but. No, she, it's still in this thing. I don't, I don't know where she's getting it She's from. not gonna give up here. Oh no, Kay. Oh, go Kay for finds it. herself letting go with the submission. And Edith Surreal here. Hooking the heel. Going for that heel hook. If she could contort that foot a little bit more, it's like an inside that could be curtains for Allison K. And K. That's an inside Maybe going lock. for a crucifix here. She's We're in our final dodge. 10 seconds oh, here, Chris. Crucifix. The this last opportunity for both women to close it out. K with a series of elbow strikes right to the midsection. Oh, that's it. It's over. Is that, was that a, is she calling for the finish? It's. And Gina Monti says the time has expired, so after five rounds of action, Chris, I think we're going to the judges' scores for the decision. And I'll tell you what, Chris, scoring this one up here, there were a couple of rounds that clearly looked like they were for Kay. We saw a couple of rounds that clearly looked like they were for Edith Surreal, but especially here in round number five, I don't have any which way this round could go. I got to tell you, if I was in that judge's seat right now, I would be sweating bullets because that was down the center, as even as you could call it. As Edith Surreal being helped to her feet, 
how much damage by the could runway. have been done by that cage when she was thrown into it, caught between the ring. I've never seen anything like that. And you really have season. to hand it to Ida the Surreal. At that point, she could have essentially given the verbal tap out. She could have said she's had enough and ended things right there. But for another couple of minutes, she kept going. And I think that in itself has to be admired by our fans here watching live on IWTV. Absolutely. Her fighting spirit is second to none. And I mean, I can't, I just cannot escape the fact that this cage, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. The pressure between that and the steel ring. So, Chris, it looks like the judges have conferred. Sam Laterna, our ring announcer, has the decision. This one could go either way. Let's head to ringside and find out our official decision for this co main event super fight. After five rounds, we go to the judges for their scores. Judge number one, rules this fight 48 47. Surreal. So there's one for the red corner. Surprise for Allison K. None too happy about it. Very close fight. Judge number two rules the fight 48-47. Allison K. Same score, different result, Chris. So we're heading to a split decision here. Let's find out what our judge number three ruled. And the winner via split decision. 48, 47. Blue corner, Allison K. Very highly contested, but Chris, at the end of the day, AK-47 slips by the exhibition of intrigue, and Allison K wins the co-main event super fight by split decision. The first ever super fight in our company's history. You know what, but both fighters really did leave it all in the cage. On your win here at Combat Fights Unlimited. Now, speaking of your debut here, what are you thinking of for the future here at this new fighting promotion, honey? <clears throat> the, the mission is clear. I am here to whoop that ass, and whoop that ass I shall. Yeah. And I know there's a there's a main event tonight between uh, Janai Kai and Masha Slamovic, but uh, how I see it is whoever wins that should have to face me. That's what I think should go down. Okay, well thank you so much for your comments and I wish you the best of luck here. I don't believe you. So Allison Kay picks up the victory right there once again. The matchmakers at Combat Fights Unlimited putting together an incredible co-main event super fight. But folks, it's all come down to this. We've seen the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and now our main event is set. The finals of the Shoot the Thrill Cup tournament. Janai Kai, one-on-one -on -one with Masha Slamovich. That is coming up next.